High Court judge, Theresia Matheka, has reportedly declared being a housewife a full-time job that should attract some form of compensation. Now, the judge who was presiding over a matrimonial, a matrimonial property dispute uh, said that it is unfair for courts to rule that housewives do not contribute anything to the financial progress of the family. Now, the complainant is said to have, uh, is said to be, I beg your pardon, a divorced lady who sought to have their family property sold and the money shared equally between her and, uh, and her ex-husband. Our East African correspondent, Abdinol Adin, joins us now on this story. Good morning, Abdinol. How are Kenyans, women especially, reacting to this judgment? Good morning, Olu and Oli. Nice to join you once again. And yeah. before I talk about the Kenyan side, I don't know why this story has also been making shockwaves across Nigeria because it has got much coverage as well. Yeah. So it's not. So what we're saying, what we're hearing is that. So being a housewife, you should be getting paid. That's what the job, the judge is saying, right? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and to begin with, actually, it's not only being a housewife. Uh, the judge also said uh, that. Mm -hmm. Pregnancy, nine months period of pregnancy is also a payable job. And uh, if I quickly summarize uh, some of the key highlights, which has elicited massive reactions uh, back in Kenya, is that she's told the housewife that you are not jobless being at home. That is a profession, that is a payable job. Therefore, for the fathers who are away from their children and uh, who are only sending money or uh, have left their wives with their children, that is not a responsibility they're doing it by themselves looking after the children ensuring they're going to school the parenting job that itself is 50 percent contribution to the parental duty only and only all right nice. abdi you know quoting you know judge theresia uh, she said uh, that uh, it is unfair for courts to rule that housewives do not contribute anything uh, to the uh, financial progress of the family uh, what uh, do they really add? And uh, what, when you hear those comments from a, a judge in Kenya, who is a woman judge, given this, uh, you know, uh, uh, ruling, what does that really pretend now for women in Kenya, especially for women who are full-time housewives? Uh, are we going to see, you know, perhaps a, a much more voiced, you know, demand and interest of what they really deserve? This was majorly viewed as a breakthrough for women in Kenya, especially considering the matrimonial challenges that they have. Uh, been facing. There have been a lot of uh, divorce-related disputes, inheritance-related disputes. In as much as uh, there are the Kadi courts, the, 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 the Islamic uh, part, the Islamic jurisdiction, as well as some others who are using, who are guided by their spiritual beliefs. But in general, women have seen this as a major, big, uh, major victory, especially when it comes to dividing the property. And one of the decisions made by Justice Mateka is that during uh, division of property. If the husband uh, is not willing to provide a 50-50 uh, division of the property, then he must engage in a buyout and pay the partner equivalent of 50% of the property. And this is expected to also address some of the ranging issues and challenges that has really left to women, um, you know, really uh, become victims of marriages, something that they felt, some, something that they uh, consensually took part in. Mm. I, know, I mean, this is not a surprising, trending story in Nigeria, but playing devil's advocate, what do you think, um, from the men's point of view, do you think the men will be supportive of this kind of declaration by a judge in Kenya? Yeah, because it's one thing to have the law, and it's another thing for it to be practiced within right. families, traditions, cultures, and religions in Kenya. Well, uh, I think uh, if you're going by the responses, especially on social media, the, the commentaries being made on radios and, uh, and even uh, some of the opinion uh, analysts speaking about this issue, actually, whereas uh, before I give my own personal opinions uh, to keep to remain objective, the fact is that men themselves have also been accused of engaging in the same paying what we call Mpango Wakando in Kenya. I don't know what in Nigeria they are called. Uh, some sort of, uh, I don't know whether it's a, such a part-time wife or anything exists. Oh. All, these mm. service, <laughs> wow. all these are already being paid for. Somebody's chop, paying chop somebody money. for looking after the... Uh, I chop my money, I think. Really? So, <laughs> what, so people are asking, if the men are already doing this to their unofficial wives, then why? what, what is hard for them to implement the same? on their legally legally uh, acknowledged wives. 
um, for me personally, I think um, this really means a lot for the women because mm. personally being raised uh, by, 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 my mo by my both parents, with my mother spending most of the time with us, I think she actually deserves to be paid and I wouldn't wish to see her mm. actually after suffering all that time with us. You know, right. just going back, maybe, but I'm glad um, we've been brought up by both parents and uh, this has really shown us that we must really uh, right. support women, we must really support our wives because they hold a lot to the future because bringing mm -hmm. up the children and doing all those tasks, I think means that they should be valued. That should yeah. actually be a contacted job. Right. Well said, brother. Well said. Thank you so much, Abdino Aden, our East Africa correspondent, all the way from Nairobi, Kenya, on this issue about women being paid, uh, you know, to be full-time housewives. <laughs>